Golly, Jethro, you don't have to drive us clear out to the airport. We can still take a taxi. <laughs> yes, uh, just pull over to the corner and stop. Shucks, Jethro, I don't mind driving us. Uncle Jed wants me to help you with the suitcases. Yeah, he's almost strong as me. I'm stronger. If you don't believe me, just feel these buttons. Oh, I don't believe you. What's the traffic? Yes, ma'am. Hey, you know something? That's the fourth fella that's whistled at us. I wonder how it comes. <laughs> Probably the truck, honey. Yeah, I reckon. Don't see too many like this. <laughs> I'll take a bet on that. I just feel better if we tell the boys we got here all right. I bet they miss us already. Hello? May we speak to Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs, please? Well, if it's about the audition, that won't be necessary. Audition? For Flatt and Scruggs? Oh, yes, but, but don't worry if you can't sing folk music. In fact, it isn't absolutely necessary that you sing at all. As long as you're single, attractive, and have a certain amount of, shall we say, domestic ability. <laughs> hurry over or you'll lose out. Bye. <laughs> What? What's wrong, Louise? Did it ever occur to you that our husbands change their minds about this trip very easily? Well, yes, now that you mention it. Well, I just found out why. They're auditioning girl singers. What? That's how they met us. Don't I remember? Come on. <laughs> Kelly May, we're going back home. Hurry! <laughs> Where are our husbands? There's mine. <laughs> and there comes mine. Hey, look yonder. Lester, your wives is back. Yes, so long. Yeah. Lester, Flat. Gladys. It's good to have you back, darling. <laughs> darling me. Since when do you need a girl singer? Well, now we don't that you and Louise are back. <laughs> That's right. Girls, sing mail order bride to Mr. Clampett. And Jed, we hope it'll give you an idea, of course. Earl and me just went out of the wife finding business. <laughs>